this video, I'm going to show you how I repaired the Monster Power HTS 5100, some kind of power conditioning doodad thingy here. Uh, I've already troubleshooted it, so I will cut to the chase, and she has a blown transformer. You can actually see a hole uh, on the primary side. And when you just do a little ohms check here, I'm expecting to see, I don't know, maybe 100 ohms, maybe 200 ohms, at least something in that range on the primary side of the transformer. And I get... Zilch. That confirms the primary side. Oh, wait, no, I'm touching it, so that's why it's getting her eating. I've got to get my fingers off of it. Open. Okay, yeah, she's toast. Transformer's bad. I'm going to go ahead and install a new one. Okay, folks, got the new transformer installed. And now when I plug it in, let's see here. Now it actually does something. I guess the uh, power conditioner should have been plugged into a power conditioner because it did blow on the 120 side. Um, let's see here. So the transformer I put in wasn't an exact match. It didn't have the right mounting holes. This didn't have the same mounting holes as the factory one, but a wire tie and some double-sided tape, and she ain't going anywhere as long as you're not shipping it back to China. Uh, this whole power supply here feeds uh, a 7805 and a 7812, so you're going to want to be somewhere between 15 and 30 volts. Don't go over 30 volts. The 7800 series stuff doesn't like to see over 30, I don't, I don't believe. And then, since it's a 12 volt regulator, you probably want to be at least 15 and you need a couple of volts of headway there. I think this was a 13, 14 volt, something like that transformer at about 800 milliamps, which is just a tiny bit lighter than the original one. So this may have been closer to 900 milliamps or maybe one full amp, but seems to be close enough to run. So I'm gonna let it run for a while, make sure it doesn't burn down the house. And uh, yeah, looks like that's it for today. So that's how you fix this thing. Thanks for watching. Quick update. With the 800 milliamp transformer, after you know three, four hours of continuous use, it was starting to get a little bit uncomfortably warm. I didn't feel uh, right having it undersized, so I went oversized of the factory transformer. This transformer is now, instead of 800 milliamps, this one's 1 1.6 amps, so it's quite a bit beefier. Uh, and also this one is internally thermally fused, so no house fires. Uh, and in case you're wondering, well, where do you get transformers from? Uh, thrift stores, got this one from Goodwill. Usually the thrift stores will have buckets of these AC adapters and you just Check the uh, tags until you find one that looks right, and tear it apart. Well, that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.